It's the first event of the year on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, and the name of the game is Big Bass. Game plan is to try to find some big fish. Uh, looking forward to catch a big one. I think we're on a good quality fish, looking at what I was weighed in today. Let's hope we can get them in the boat. We're at one of the best big fish lakes in the country, Sam Rayburn Reservoir. The top collegiate anglers will take to the water in hopes of bringing the largest fish to the scales. Coverage of the 2018 Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements starts right now. Give me the boat, son! Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Stewie! New Big Bass of the Tournament! Welcome to Southeast Texas and the famed Sam Rayburn Reservoir for the Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements. Being the first stop of the year for the 2018 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, anglers are excited for the opportunity to get out and go in search of big fish and valuable School of the Year points. We're at Sam Rayburn and hopefully we're going to catch us a big bass and uh, put us in that top 10. The inaugural year for this tournament, the Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements is a big bass format event. Anglers will fish for a full day out on Sam Rayburn Reservoir and at the conclusion of their allotted time on the water will bring their biggest fish to the scales. Each angler is allowed to bring just one fish to weigh in. The largest fish to cross the scales will be the winner of the event and earn a prize package valued at $5,000. This tournament is paying out all the way to 40th place. Strategy will play key tomorrow on tournament day if these anglers are going to take home one of these prizes. And they're focused on just one thing, catching a big fish. I feel like there's gonna be a bunch of fish tomorrow in the four, four and a half pound range to the six pound range. And it's gonna take, if you catch seven pounder, you're gonna be top 10. We want two tomorrow, we don't care when we get them, how we get them, but we want them both to be big. Sam Rayburn Reservoir is regarded by most as one of the best fisheries in the nation, and it is home to some Texas-sized largemouths. In a recent Texas team trail event, a five bass limit weighing over 37 pounds took home grand prize, and three fish weighing over 10 pounds were brought to the scales. The big fish live here, and they are biting right now. Weather has been a major factor for most of the week leading up to today. As anglers pull through for boat check, wind gusts are picking up and temperatures are dropping. The impact this will have on the fishing will be known very shortly. I mean, I feel like with this weather coming in, they might, it might slow the shallow bite down a little bit because the rain kind of muddied the water up a little bit, but I still think you can catch them about eight to 10 foot. They're gonna be, they should be in them drains. They're wanting to move up. Uh, cold front blew through yesterday, so it's you know, typical post front conditions, kind of windy, still kind of raining a little bit. Um, hopefully the trap bite will be good, catch them early and then go throw a trap all day and try to catch a big bite. We begin our on the water coverage now by following Jared out onto Sam Rayburn where he's joined by teammate JP Kimbrough and fellow competitor from Lamar University, Stephen Thomas. The trio is starting out their morning by throwing moving baits around offshore ditches and depressions. Oh, we're just throwing a crankbait, you know, they've got a spawning pocket right there. It's got a little creek that runs in, they're just kind of scattered along the creek. And when you find one or two, you usually get a few more bites, but um, I don't know what this cold, and, you know, this front and all this cold's going to do to them, if it's going to load them up more up here, or they're going to, sometimes they push up to that shallower grass because it warms up faster, you know. So it just really depends. So I just have to, this time of year, you just kind of have to play it out. There's one, big and two. Yep. You got God. That'll work. Choke the kind you want to catch on a raver. There's a little one now. Look at look how it barred. That's when you know you're throwing the right bait. Be some good points. Some good, some good school of year points right there. With valuable school of the year points on the line, the competition is guaranteed to heat up as these anglers begin to catch fish. 
When we return from break, we'll take a look at the current standings in the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia and provide insight into how important this event is to the outcome of this race. We'll be right back. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. It mean a, it mean a whole lot to win this. For one, and be a big old fish catch. And uh, for two, you know, the main thing is just the school of the year points, you know. Welcome back to coverage of the 2018 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and the Texas Lunker Challenge. Out on Sam Rayburn today, anglers have two things on the brain. Big Bass and the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Yeah, we're in 10th uh, for School of the Year right now, so I mean, we really need some guys to weigh in some big fish today, and we've got some really good fishermen on our team. In today's event, eight of the top 10 teams are represented, making this a packed field with a lot on the line. LSU Shreveport sits in the current number one spot, followed by Northwestern State University and the University of Louisiana Monroe. The overall winner of this event will earn 500 points for their respective school. For teams who have been close before but were unable to seal the deal, winning it all is the only thing that matters. We've been trying for, we've been usually at the top, you know, every year. Last year we kind of fell behind, and uh, so this year we're trying to get first um, and be school of the year. Right now we're in second school of the year points. We've never really been that high before. Um, it's definitely something special to us. Right now, the way we're fishing, uh, I know this is like an individual tournament. We're, um, I guess, formatted that way for fish, but we're really trying to fish kind of conservatively and at least catch a, uh, you know, one of our teams right now, we were fishing by them earlier. They got about a six and a half pounder, and we got one a little over four. So for team points, that's, that's a decent weight. Um, it's better than like, you know, us having a seven pounder and then nobody else having nothing to go with it. So we're trying to fish what we know up shallow and maybe get lucky and catch a real big one, but just having consistent weights to give us the decent points to keep on uh, staying on top right now for uh, school of year points. I don't know what else to do to catch a big one. These four fish catches in a row by La Prairie could prove crucial in determining a pattern. Although none of the fish were able to cull what he already has in the well, that has to be a pretty good confidence boost as we head near the midway point of the day. Another fun element in play during this tournament is the opportunity for anglers to fish three to a boat. Along with that, all three anglers do not have to represent the same university. This provides the opportunity for friends and competitors alike to fish together and enjoy one another's company in a more relaxed tournament setting. College fishing, in a sense, is more than just like about fishing. It's kind of like a, you kind of have like a fraternity feeling. You know, we all travel all over the country together, see each other all the time. So we, uh, we all know each other real well and, and get along real well, but we're always fishing against each other, never with each other, you know. Um, I guess we're really not a team today, but. Yeah. Yeah, y'all are competition. I'm not letting any more fish. <laughs> Knocks and knocks the next one off. Whack! <laughs> oh, you got an eight pounder? Oh, man.
getting that nice keeper in the net. Jared from LSU Shreveport held up his end of the bargain by netting that Sam Rayburn stud for fellow competitor Stephen of Lamar University. The bite is getting better and the quality fish are beginning to show up. Stay tuned for more Giant Bass as coverage of the Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements continues. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's VTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent feed. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Boat US, we're with you on the water. Hydrowave, ignite a feeding frenzy. And by Temple Fork Outfitters, power to the angler. So far today, fishing has been consistent for most of the field, even though the weather conditions are not working in their favor. We move now to the in-state team of Matthew Bowden and Kyle Contour from Texas Tech University. They've decided to stay closer to the launch site and avoid getting out in the windy conditions on the main lake. Well, we've been practicing up north and then with the wind, we decided, you know, we're just going to launch at the pavilion and kind of scrounge up some fish down here. And we each got one in the box, nothing special, but just going down the bank, throwing a rig, throwing a trap, throwing a chatterbait and kind of hoping for the best right now. It's been a tough morning. Winds played a real big factor, so we figured we could just go down like some of these secondary points or creek channel swings over here with a lot of grass. So we're just throwing an A rig and a trap, jerk bait, all that good stuff. These fish should be on their, like, they should be starting to stage, and uh, we're just hoping to find a big female somewhere along here. There we go. Get him in there. Don't think he's gonna help. With one fish in the box already that is significantly larger, it looks like Bowden will not be able to call up with this recent catch. There we go. Got a boy. That'll help. Being able to call up today is key because it means you're catching bigger fish and with each call can move your way up the leaderboard in a hurry. A little bit of an upgrade anyway. That one right there ain't gonna win on this fishery, but higher place, more points. One angler who may have difficulty culling for the rest of the day is Scott Ellis from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. His circumstances though are drastically different than most competitors in today's field. Scott has a nine plus pound fish in the box. I honestly thought I was almost hung because it was just not even really moving. And I sat there for a second like this and you could see my rod 
bouncing up and down. And I trolled over to it and it came loose and rolled up and it was completely covered in grass and all you could see was just a giant mouth. I mean, it was more shock than just excitement. We didn't freak out or anything. Just in shock that we just caught that fish. It's a good one. And like I said, we didn't even practice up here. I wasn't super efficient at covering water, especially with the fog on the second day of practice. We just kind of stayed close to the ramp and I knew from doing research that up here was a really good area and pulled up to it and just started catching fish this morning. The bar sure has been set high by Scott and that could be a tough number to beat come the end of the day. We'll check in now with our 10th place team in the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Jacob Keith and Mason Beatty from East Texas Baptist University. They've had a solid start to the day, but can either one of them challenge for the lead? It's been going pretty good. We had a, a little deep spot we started on this morning that I actually messed up and caught a big one on it yesterday. And we pulled in there this morning and about our third cast, we caught our first fish. We've been catching them all morning though. And, Finally figured out we should probably get to the grass and try to upgrade. You know, we had caught probably 15 or 20 fish, but the biggest one we've had has been two and a half pounds. You know, it's, uh, it's been up and down for us, uh, which we expected it. Here recently, uh, every time we've got on this lake, we've had a cold front come through either the day before or the day of. But, uh, the time, the couple times we've been down here, it's been steady. We've had a, a fairly decent shallow bite, but like I said, it's it's up and down for us. It, we're just hoping here soon it'll be turning on for us. It's time now for a break, but when we return, the time is running out for the anglers to find the winning fish. Who will walk away as the winner of the Texas Lunker Challenge? Stay tuned and find out. got a big line of different plastics and you know they're all a tool so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas flipping that right there. Just a six inch Big Bite Crete tail worm. Here at Big Bite we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, 
fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Gill, dress like a pro. Denali Rods, experience the Denali advantage. And by Bob's Machine Shop, go fast, go shallow, go efficient. You on that? Yeah. Welcome back to coverage of the Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements. Time is winding down for anglers to catch a big fish and earn valuable School of the Year points. These freshmen from the second place team of Northwestern State University understand the magnitude of this race. You know, we're only freshmen, but you know, those other guys uh, like Johnny and them, they, they're seniors, they've been working at it, you know, all four years that they've been here, just building it up and building it up and they finally got it up towards the top, you know, and it's, it's a lot of hard work and they finally got it up there and hope, we're just hoping we can keep it. So, you know, that's why everything's so crucial and hopefully we can get a couple big bites today. Being school of the year, you're the, you're the best school in the nation. And that's something that to really be proud of, especially as freshmen. If we can get there, and we we have four years of just working even even harder to make sure you maintain it, because once you're at the top, that's just, everybody's gunning for you. So you just want to make sure that you can keep your lead once you get it. That school that everyone is gunning for is LSU Shreveport. We've covered them throughout the day and know that as a boat, they have several quality fish. The goal for the rest of the day is to add one more fish to the box in hopes of maintaining their lead. It's going good so far. I've been playing net man this morning, but that's all right. They, uh, they both got a good one in the boat, catching quite a few fish, so just got to put it in front of one so I can get mine and then keep grinding. Digging. No, never mind. A Rossi okay. money team. Throw in front of it. I saw another one with it. And where it came from. Judd. <laughs> Who would have known a red rattle trap would work on Sam Rayburn? Never would have guessed it. As that fish is released back into Sam Rayburn Reservoir, we head back to the weigh-in site where anglers are making their way to the tanks with their day's catch. Well, it was cold and windy. This fishing was pretty slow. Fish yesterday, caught quite a few, but today they just didn't bite like they did yesterday. Uh, we caught about eight fish using chatterbaits and grass, but never could catch any of size, so it's definitely a rough day. With early reports of tough conditions out on Sam Rayburn today, Justin Barnes from the University of Montevallo comes to the stage looking to set the bar high early on in this weigh-in. What do you think it's going to weigh? I don't know. Take a guess. Eight something. He thinks eight something. He's close. 864, a beautiful fish. Now get that fish out and hold it up for everybody. 864, that's what we're looking for, folks. Y'all put your hands together for him. We had a tough practice. We got a lot of two, two and a half pounders, and uh, we, we didn't really have high expectations. We knew this lake's got big ones, so uh, uh, we just went out there and got after them, and about 11 o'clock, we hooked one. I said, this can't be a bass, and it was a bass, 864. The big fish are starting to roll in now as more and more anglers come across the stage. The next angler with their sights set on that top prize is Dustin Nash from Northwestern State University, which currently sits in the second spot for the School of the Year standings. 655, 655, hold that fish up. That fish is good enough to put Dustin in second at the moment, and the young angler is fired up about his day on the water. Uh, we had a pretty good day out there today. We uh, had about 23 pounds with our best five, and. We managed to catch two decent ones this morning. Uh, we're sitting in second in the school of the year, so catching these two fish and placing pretty good should help us out. The team everyone is chasing is LSU Shreveport. With these two quality fish, they know they've earned some solid points. You know, we did pretty good. We didn't smash them by any means. We caught a lot of good quality fish, but uh, overall we we only caught, you know, I had a five and a half, he had a four, and that, that's gonna give us some really good points and for the uh, school of the year, and that's the most important thing coming down here. 
An angler who is no stranger to big bass is Scott Ellis from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Performing well at big bass events in the past, Scott is looking poised to continue that trend here today. 865 right now is leading this tournament up. Let's see what it's gonna do. How about a 964, 964. That giant bass puts Scott Ellis atop the leaderboard, exactly one pound ahead of second place. With just a few anglers left to go, the only question on Scott's mind is, will that weight hold up? I don't know. This lake, it's, I mean, it's a heck of a lake, so anything can happen. I mean, just like me catching that 964, somebody else could easily catch one over 10. I mean, I said it all along. If you wanted to win this tournament, in my mind, you had to have a double-digit fish. So, we'll see. I sure hope it holds up, though. No other anglers were able to touch the mark set by Scott Ellis as the closest remaining competitors crossed the scales with nothing over seven pounds. So here's a look at the final leaderboard with Scott Ellis from the University of Tennessee Knoxville in first place, followed by Justin Barnes of the University of Montevallo. And rounding out the top three is Dustin Nash of Northwestern State University. Hey, I pulled it off, I held the pound lead. I, I don't know if it moved from a pound, but I held the pound lead and it's awesome. I couldn't be happier winning and it's a great feeling. As winner of today's event, Scott takes home a prize package valued at $5,000, as well as earning his team 500 points towards the School of the Year race. Some awesome School of the Year points. Um, hopefully we can make a run at it. We finished top five last year, I believe, and it would be great, I mean great to win it. Um, We'll see where we stand after this. We ought to be way up. And here are the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia following this event. The University of Tennessee Knoxville was unable to crack the top 10 with their great showing today. But one team making a significant jump is Bethel University as they move up from seventh place to claim the top spot. Northwestern State stays put at second, but does manage to outdo LSU Shreveport as they fall from first place down to third. That concludes our coverage of the 2018 Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements. Be sure to follow the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series online and on social media to stay up to date with the latest news and notes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This has been a Carico TV production. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere, a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods. Tournament tested and tournament tough. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24 7. Visit boatus.com.